Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.6, .6, number 69, and here we were asked to solve the equation by rewriting the exponential expression using the indicated logarithm. So, so let's read through this. They want us to rewrite this equation in terms of natural logs. So I need to figure out how could I rewrite that exponential equation as its equivalent logarithmic equation. So let me rewrite this. We have e to the 5, at, oops, 5x equaling 17. So I need to change that into some kind of logarithm, right? There'll be something in the base, something in the argument, and it'll be equal to something, right? Those, those three things. And we somehow have to play out. We have to assign, let me change colors here. We have to assign e, 5x, and 17 to one of these three positions. That's how you go from an exponential equation to its equivalent logarithmic equation. So let me back that out and let's start. I always think it's easiest to start with the base. So the rule is the base of your exponential equation is going to be the same base as your logarithm. So I know I'm going to put an E right in here. And let me go ahead and just erase all this and make it a little bit cleaner. So this is going to be an E. Ah, why isn't it working? There we go. All right, the next thing that I always try and remember is that a logarithm itself, so this logarithm is an exponent. All right, so this whole expression has to be equal to an exponent, and if we head back up here, we can see that the exponent is 5x. So the 5x has to go on that side of the equation. Okay, great, now let me, let me erase that, and let me make it look a little bit nicer. And that means that your argument needs to be 17 because there's only one position left. So let me, again, let me clean all of this up. And then I'm going to put a 17 in here. Okay, so that's me going from an exponential equation to its equivalent logarithmic equation. And what we want to recognize going through here is that whenever you see this expression, and again, let me color code it a little. Whenever you see log base e, that is the natural log happening. So I know that the natural log of 17 is equal to 5x. And why that's good is because they asked me to go ahead and look at this in terms of natural logs. And if I want to solve for x, right, ultimately all I need to do now is divide both sides by 5. So x is going to be equal to the natural log of 17 over 5, whatever that number is equal to on our calculator. And you see me calculating it here. It looks like it's about 0.567. So that's one way to look at it. What I typically do is, and we'll start to um, use this, this technique a little bit more once we, once we get through um, the rest of chapter 6, but what I tend to do is I'll actually just take this exponential equation and let me go over here. And if I want to solve for that exponent, if I want x and I see it's up in my exponent, I know, well, I, I need a logarithm on both sides to get that exponent down. So I would natural log both sides. And the reason I would opt to pick a natural log is because I know that it is technically log base e. So this is log base e of e to the 5x. This is ln of 17 over here. Well, whenever the base of your logarithm and the base of your power are the same, the only thing that survives is that exponent. So I get 5x equaling the natural log of 17. When I divide by 5, sure enough, we're at the same answer. I mean, that's one of the cool things about math. The answer is the answer. So that's just a different way of doing this, right? So here, again, I, I worked through the equation by taking the ln of both sides. Here, I went through changing an exponential equation to its equivalent logarithmic form. So that's what I got going on. And then the last part of this question said, hey, can you check the answer on your calculator? So I put the left side of the equation in y1, the right side in y2. I had to adjust the window a little bit so I could see it. And then I looked for the intersection. And when I do that intersection, sure enough, that answer of 0.567 is coming up. So I've actually got this, this equation solved in three different ways, right? Two algebraic ways, right? One was over here, one was over, oops, one was over here, and then I've got calculation, or excuse me, technology. I was going to say calculator and calculation at the same time. So I've got technology giving me the third way. So either way, right, we get to that answer that the, the x value here is about 0.567. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.